FeatureCam 2014 now supports the programming and simulation of steady rests and tail stocks. In this first example, we're going to look at steady rests. The steady rest is designed to support long parts. In this case, this particular part is 1.5 meters in length. And we're going to use the, the steady rest to support the component as we machine different areas of it. If we have a look at the initial 3D simulation, you can see this part has been cut in multiple steps. If I view this on the machine though, let me zoom back, we can see the length of the part sticking out of the jaws is quite substantial. What we need to do is we need to support this part as we machine each of the segments. The features are already created for you but we're going to go through and show you how to create those for moving around the job. In the first instance we want to create a steady rest position to support the front of the component as we turn this shape here. We go into the new feature wizard, we select turning, we go to part handling and select next. We're going to utilize the part on and part off support options. I'm going to select a part support on. Under the grab distance this is going to indicate where my position of my steady rest is going to be. I'm going to set this to be 150 millimeters and choose next. I've now got the option as to what I want to use for my support process. I don't have a subspindle on this machine so what I'm going to use is the steady rest. As with other part handling options we have different parameters in terms of how we control the, the transfer turret and also what happens in this particular situation. In this particular instance this machine only has one turret so there's no option to change which controls this movement of the steady rest. You can, if you wish, fit steady rest to lower turrets, for example, and bring those in in exactly the same way. The only thing you need to take care of is making sure that you index the turret to the correct position in order to bring the steady rest in. Once I'm happy with that, I can choose Finish and say OK. Now you'll note that we have part support on located at the bottom. Let's move its location to where we want it and in this case I'm going to go into the feature and just set the priority to be number one as I want this to be the first operation to happen. We can now play our simulation single step just to get the view right. You'll notice steady rest will move to position. It closes and clamps into position and we can start turning our component. Once we get to the next stage we have milling and now we're turning. What we want to do is we want to move the steady rest further back just so we're clear and we have no issues around our steady rest itself. To move the steady rest we can do this by creating another part support on further down the job. Again back into our new feature, part handling, part support on. This time I'm going to change the position, I'm going to set it to 800 millimeters. Choose next and again choose steady rest and say finish. This particular feature we're going to place further up the tree and again you'll notice that we're going to copy the same selection in terms of its priority. So I'm going to set that to 5 and accept. Again single step the simulation. Place with the operations. So there's my initial turning, my milling. Note the steady rest opens, moves to its new position and then we turn the rest of the job. Next thing I want to do is to move that steady rest back to the front again so we can continue turning the rest of the component and machining the grooves. Again, I'm going to go turning, part handling, reposition back at 150, and then choose 
the steady rest option. Again we're going to select its position and setting the priority to 7. Let's have a look at that sequence. And there's our steady rest movement control programmed.